god, it's F1 2015. Welcome to Formula One. Yes, that's right guys, we are here on the start screen of F1 2015. Finally, uh, yeah, hello guys, I'm Fizzy. <laughs> uh, and uh, yeah, this is the PC version of the game and it is my first time entering the game at all. Uh, so uh, this is the first time I've seen this start screen and I must say it does look pretty, pretty nice. Uh, but that's not really what I'm here to see because uh, I want to actually play the game. So this, as I mentioned, is my first play on the game. Uh, I am uh, doing a live commentary and I will be going into this uh, kind of blind. Obviously I do know some things uh, in terms of what to expect from the game, but uh, not everything. And uh, it should certainly be interesting to see what it's all about. Obviously, a much anticipated release, with it being Codemasters' first game uh, released on the next gen platforms, or like made for the next gen platforms. Obviously, this is the PC version, not really a console. But uh, uh, yeah, obviously, the game is out on Xbox One and PS4 as well. And apparently, the game has also been built uh, from scratch. Uh, on a new game engine uh, that is uh, designed for the next-gen consoles, so uh, uh, yeah, obviously not really sure what to expect. I expect uh, some things to be uh, very similar to uh, the previous games, but also other things to be quite different. So uh, let's jump into it and see uh, what happens, I guess. So here we are on the main menu, nice little shuttle drivers there at the top, some of them anyway, uh, and modes uh, seems pretty much the same as what we've been used to from previous games, although career mode has been replaced by these two, it seems, championship season and pro season. Uh, yeah, no standard career mode, so uh, this championship season, from what I've heard, is like a one season. You do one season as one of the real life drivers, you cannot drive as yourself. And the pro season is uh, basically the same from what I know, uh, except that you race with everything basically on the most difficult settings, so apparently there is no assist, you are to full 100% races, uh, full sessions with the practice and, and free qualifying sessions, all that. And also, uh, yeah, apparently you don't, don't even have an on-screen display in this mode, and you race in cockpit cam, so basically <laughs> everything uh, tuned to the, to the most difficult uh, levels. And uh, I don't know, maybe that's something I'll test uh, and, and try out at some point, uh, but for now, Let's uh, let's start from the back in terms of uh, the, the the modes. I mean, quit game. That is a new game mode. So we can actually quit the game. That's nice. <laughs> Hopefully, I won't be uh, tempted to, to, to press that anytime soon because I actually want to play the game now. Uh, but here we go. My F1. This is the, uh, where we do the game settings and stuff. And this is quite interesting. Switch to 2014 season. So apparently, the game comes with. Uh, in addition to obviously being based around the 2015 season, it comes with the 2014 content as well. I'm just going to be completely crazy right now and press that and see what happens. So switch season. Uh, yep, that's okay with me. Season change in progress. Oh my god. Let's see now. If we go to quick quick race, let's see first of all. Yeah, there we go. We got Germany now on the 2014 version of the game which obviously is not on the 2015 calendar, uh, so uh, you got that, you also have Fernando Alonso in a Ferrari, you got uh, my man Kevin Magnussen there in, a in McLaren, so yeah that's cool, we do have the 2014 content here, and uh, let's have a quick look at the settings then, starting from the bottom, graphics options, yeah obviously I have uh, playing on this on a computer, uh, I feel like my computer is pretty pretty decent so hopefully I'll be able to uh, run it on the max settings so audio settings same as usual you can obviously change uh, how, how much you want to hear the engineer customize controls this is obviously quite important I am driving this uh, uh, with my new wheel which is a Thrustmaster TX so let's have a quick look at the controls and at the moment it is set to the keyboard as input device, and uh, that it's certainly not something I want to draw with, as that sounds horrible. <laughs> so, uh, Thrustmaster TX, yes, it has, uh, it has uh, recognized my wheel, which I feel like is a good sign. But I'll, I'll just leave it as it is for now. Advanced wheel settings, everything set to zero at the moment. Um, I do remember from previous games I did have a couple of things turned up a bit from zero. But I can't, uh, off the top of my head, remember which settings it was, but uh, yeah, uh, I'll leave it at the default for now and then we'll see 
how it feels. Same with force feedback, it looks like the default setting is uh, everything on 50 in terms of the feedback strength. So that's it for the settings, let's go back to the main menu. Let's uh, not quit the game just yet, let's go to time trial. Obviously you have the track selection, and you got the team selection. I must say this is probably what everyone will be using in time trial, because they are OP <laughs> this season as well. It, it looks like the game is now loading. You can see in the top left there, uh, the loading thing is going while I'm still selecting my settings. So that's quite interesting. I didn't uh, mean to actually enter the time trial mode right now, but it looks like I have accident accidentally managed to do it. <laughs> uh, it looks like it is indeed loading time trial. So let's have a quick look at the uh, settings then. So assist seems to have turned everything off, which is what I want. Uh, you can also obviously have various presets here for however skilled or unskilled you may be. Still only dry and wet as the options for the weather in time trial. And the loading is complete! We uh, says at the top there, so uh, I mean I didn't, like I said, I didn't mean to go into time trial, but uh, there's no way out now. And here we are on the track in Australia, uh, and in the garage. And uh, why is that guy on the right kind of... Uh, having a hair dryer pointed at my face. Uh, <laughs> actually it's probably like cooler or something like that. F2 for the setup, F1 for leaderboards. Oh that's pretty cool. You can actually check the leaderboards while you're in the garage in the time trial. So that's cool. And uh, loads of people have already uh, <laughs> been on and set times. Random is Grandy. Remember him? He's been racing the AOR leagues obviously. Uh, so he's currently third on the leaderboard for Australia. Uh, the game only just released, of course. I'm playing this on release date. So a toggle leaderboard. You can also check uh, your friends leaderboard. So this would be the people I have on my Steam friends list. Uh, Randy was leading that list. And uh, oh, yes, fake up buyers, son of more people I know very well. Let's go back then. Uh, so F2 for the setup. I mean, while we're here, I'm, we might as well just go and check the setup settings. <laughs> And here we go, presets, so uh, f it goes from preset 1 uh, for maximum downforce up to uh, preset 5, maximum top speed. Let's go with the balance one for now, so I guess that'll be everything basically bang in the middle in terms of settings. And uh, aerodynamics, same thing as usual, front and uh, rear aero with a slider of uh, 1 to 11. Transmission, this is new, new thing, so uh, differential adjustment on throttle and off throttle. Is what we got here with a slider from 50% to 100%, and I am no ex setup expert, uh, so <laughs> honestly, I have no idea what this is meant to be doing uh, and what 50% is meant to be doing compared to 100%. But I'm sure in time I'll, uh, I'll learn and figure that out. Suspension geometry uh, with the camber front and rear and toe front and rear. Front and rear suspension and front and rear and, and roll bar with a slider from 1 to 11 as uh, we have been used to from the past as well. And this then is new tires. So uh, this is not the menu where we're actually changing tires, but it is the menu where you can adjust the tire pressures, which you have not been able to do in previous games. So uh, it ranges from 17 psi to 19 psi. Obviously, it remains to be seen how uh, each of these settings affect the car. But it's nice to have uh, an extra option, I guess, in terms of tire pressures. So it's obviously a quite crucial thing as far as setups are concerned in real life. A weight distribution. Distribution. This is also new, as far as I'm aware. Ballast with a slider from one uh, to uh, have the ballast foot uh, like towards the front, and uh, eleven to have the ballast towards the rear. Um, again, remains to be seen how that affects the car. And then finally the fuel load, which is a great out because I guess you can't adjust that in a time trial because you're not probably not burning any fuel in time trial. Uh, but yeah. So let's uh, back out of this one then. Give that uh, nice man his tablet back. <laughs> Very fancy with a with a like iPad or whatever. Uh, giving me there. So yeah, I'm gonna. Um, uh, okay, this is interesting. Car and track selection in the uh, time trial menu. Does that mean that I can uh, go straight to another track without going back to the main menu? And if so, that's pretty cool. Let's try it. Let's try it. Let's also change the weather for just for, for good measure. Just to test it to the max. <laughs> there we go. So yeah, it's uh, gone straight to the loading without us needing to go back to the main menu. Which, uh, yeah, that's a pretty cool feature. You know, it's saving people some time, <laughs> at least. Ah, yes, here we are. 
Malaysia in the rain and the Red Bull. So we've just changed the time trial concession completely without having gone back to the main menu. So that's cool. Let's uh, now back out of the time trial session because, like I said, I wasn't meaning to actually enter it in the first place. So next one, we got a multiplayer, of course, which is a crucial part because obviously being a league racer myself, that's probably what I'll end up playing the most. And uh, this is an interesting new way to have laid out the multiplayer menu. I'm not really sure what's going on here. So beginner, I mean, is it like, am I selecting a difficult level now or what? This is basically like sprint mode or something, like short races on various tracks. Uh, I really don't know at the moment. Uh, but then again, here it's a standard sprint, so maybe this is the normal sprint mode. And then calendar race and wheel to wheel. I am not really sure what this, what the difference is here. So uh, something I'll have to test later on. A hardcore, no assists, so I guess you can jump into uh, online races that uh, forces you to have all this band. Just a normal hardcore and a hardcore endurance feature race. British Grand Prix, this, this is interesting. Yeah, I did read something about this actually. So the feature race, I, uh, I think, is like it, it'll always be set to whatever race happened most recently in real life F1. So it says British Grand Prix at the moment. That was obviously the previous race I was, uh, that happened uh, five days ago as, at the time of recording this, and uh, uh, a race that I actually attended myself, which uh, was a lot of fun. <laughs> so I guess if you, uh, yeah, you go in the feature race, you'll always end up in the online race on the most recent track that happened in real life, which is cool. And then obviously the custom race, which uh, is the most important thing, because that's what we'll be using for league races, obviously. Uh, friends only is the only option at the moment, so uh, let's do that. Here we are in the custom online lobby, and lobby options, this is quite crucial obviously. Session options, first of all, maximum players 16, sadly I must say, uh, still, even though it's uh, now developed for the next gen uh, consoles, we're still locked to 16 players uh, even on the PC but then again uh, the online functionality has been not the best on previous games even with 16 drivers so uh, I guess that's fair enough first of all they just need to fix the online really before they can think about uh, improving uh, the number of actually drivers because that'll probably just make the connection situation and everything worse if they did that uh, practice yeah this is obviously a new feature which uh, is very helpful will be well very helpful when people are practicing for league races uh, uh, we're using the handling of the online equal cast setting. Qualifying, you can uh, do one shot qualifying or short qualifying to know no three session qualifying online. Race distance ranges from three laps to five laps, 25%, 50%, and 100%. Pretty sure that's uh, the standard setting set we are used to. Uh, weather, obviously dynamic, clear, cloudy, overcast. So I, get cl I guess cloudy is what used to be light cloud. And then light rain, heavy rain. And stormy, in fact. That's interesting. So usually before, heavy rain was the uh, heaviest option in terms of uh, the rain setting. But now we got stormy as well. So I mean, I felt like in previous game heavy rain was 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 heavy enough <laughs> in terms of massive puddles forming and it being relatively tricky. But uh, I guess stormy. Uh, I can't imagine what that is then. It must be some kind of 2009 Malaysia <laughs> conditions going on there. So race settings, car performance, you can obviously... Ah, phew. You can set it to equal cars, which is obviously good, otherwise league racing would have been screwed uh, right away. Park firmer rules uh, on and off, that's obviously the, obviously the setting that determines whether you can change uh, your uh, setup between qualifying and race. And then vehicle damage, uh, either off, reduced or full. Collisions on or off, so if you uh, if you get tired of people crashing into you in your online races, then you can turn collisions off and the uh, people uh, will be ghosting through you instead. So that's nice. Um, and return to garage. Uh, yeah, I did read something about this actually. This is also new. So I believe that in qualifying sessions and practice sessions, you have now the option to return to garage through the through the start menu in while you're out on track, instead of having to drive back to the pit lane every time. Uh, obviously, if you turn it off, then you have to still drive back to the pit lane. But you can have that uh, setting enabled for the online lobby, so that's cool. Uh, it'll certainly help for uh, when you're doing practice. So driving proficiency, that's an interesting word. Uh, but yeah, this is obviously the where you can restrict what assists are allowed to be used. And let's try to select tracks. This is weird. 
so random, you can obviously have a random track. Uh, so calendar grades, why is this in? Oh god, I just pressed it. So calendar grades features some of the most popular Formula One circuits. Track list: Australia, China, Spain, Britain, Belgium, it Italy, Italy, Japan, and Brazil. Okay, so I guess when you select this, it sets up a custom season for you, uh, featuring those tracks. The calendar grades apparently. So uh, we now know that Code Masters uh, count China as one of the calendar grade races, which is very interesting and something I completely disagree with because I don't really like the China track, <laughs> but I guess some people do. Uh, and then wheel to wheel. So feature circuits that provide the thrilling spectacle of close wheel to wheel racing. Uh, which oh god, I didn't mean to press it. Okay, here we go. So uh, trackless Bahrain Monaco. Uh, I mean, uh, they might have mistaken that for wheel-to-wall racing, because <laughs> uh, I don't think wheel-to-wheel -wheel racing is what Monaco is most famous for, really. Uh, but yeah, and then Canada, Singapore, uh, Abu Dhabi, USA, Austria, Russia, and Mexico. So apparently, these are the best tracks for wheel-to-wheel -wheel racing, which is slightly weird, <laughs> but uh, that's how it is. Custom season, obviously, this is what we want when we select tracks F2 to edit track listing okay so all these tracks are actually assigned to my custom season at the moment so F2 to remove all tracks yeah here we go and then I can find Silverstone and only do that so F1 to add track so yeah there we go custom lobby Britain so that's obviously you can they have not taken away the ability to do just one race in a night. <laughs> so luckily, we don't have to complete the whole league season in one night when we set the leagues up. <laughs> let's let's see, can I can I launch this? No, it's not gonna launch when there's only one driver in there, is it? So yeah, you can't just set up an online uh, session and start practicing by yourself. Which is a bit of a shame really. It would have been nice though to be able to just practice with the equal car handling uh, by yourself. But yeah, leave session. That's it for the uh, multiplayer. The custom race settings then and here we go already mentioned the championship season and pro season modes so let's go into quick race and actually get out on track I mean I promise guys I will eventually get out on track but I'm just going through everything there's the menus and settings the uh, first and uh, this Park circuit in Melbourne sounds is a like an Anthony Davidson challenge. watch for overtakes at the end of the DRS zones into turns one and three Interesting. I'm going to, uh, I mean, normally when I play a new F1 game, I end up uh, starting off uh, with Australia as a track I try, first of all. But uh, I feel like I want to go on Silverstone right now. Haven't been <laughs> on the actual F1 race there five days ago. Oh, Anthony, been. shut up. Thanks. Um, yeah, I just want to get on track and uh, do what I saw the real life drivers do. You obviously have all the teams there. Expect McLaren Honda with an incredibly boring logo there. So I guess Mercedes, since that's the best car, is what I'll start off with. I don't have any particular feelings for either of these drivers, but uh, I guess I should honor Lewis Hamilton for winning the race in real life. So let's just do that. Go with Lewis. And here we go then. Same as when I was entering the time trial, it has now already started loading the session while I'm still selecting my set, uh, session options. That's uh, pretty cool, but uh, I guess I gotta be fast to not lose any time here. So practice, yeah, normal stuff. You can have the practice session. It's only one practice session still. Qualifying, one shot qualifying, short qualifying, and full qualifying. So at least you can you can have all the three qualifying sessions, uh, which is good. And then uh, <clears throat> the race isn't same as we saw in the multiplayer real lobby. And uh, yeah, I guess just stick to foul laps for now. Weather, keep that unclear because I don't want to jump straight into a wet race really. Race settings then, so AI driver level, legend, six difficulty levels for the AI, and assist, just double checking that everything is fine, everything is turned off, that's what I want, good, and then let's start a session because loading is complete! <laughs> 